Hey everybody, so this is going to be a quick tip on how to use NDI sources um, with the OBS webcam. So if you use the virtual camera, you'll notice that there's no audio that comes with that. So you have to do this kind of complicated loopback stuff with a virtual audio driver and then f manually sync things. And when I've done that before, I found that things can actually drift out of sync during the broadcast if like the audio process somehow gets different buffering than the video process it will like drift so not necessarily a great way to do that if you want to get what's happening in OBS into a webcam system um, the other way to do it is with OBS NDI uh, OBS has a plugin that will take the output from the previewer program and then send it over the network um, via an NDI source now this also sends audio but it has a problem with audio desync and so it seems to be a fixed amount of uh, desynchronization but basically the audio will be later than the video if you just output the NDI source and um, then try and re-import it later on in some other either another version of OBS or in a webcam or something like that. So <coughs> I found a solution. It's kind of weird, but I've, I've been running a um, YouTube stream for like three hours and just spot checking it to make sure it hasn't drifted and it's, it's worked really well so far. Um, and basically it's to, to have multiple NDI outputs. Um, so I'm going to go to this screen share and show you kind of how to set this up. So um, what you're looking at now is a Canon PTZ camera sending a feed over NDI and in OBS um, you'll see that this is the source right here and um, so I have the <coughs> NDI output plugin um, right here and I've just got a main output and it's sending um, my uh, OBS program here so then what happens here is that then goes into the kind of NDI network, then um, I can use this NDI tool called webcam to then receive the feed. Now, I'm using StreamYard as a kind of platform that I want a webcam in. So you'll see here that my camera is NDI webcam video one. Now, if you look at the audio, <coughs> the audio source is actually NDI webcam two. Now, if I was to just put the audio from webcam one, the audio and, and video would be out of sync. And you'll see, if I go down to the NDI tools here, where are you? NDI webcam, you'll see that basically NDI source one and NDI source two are exactly the same. And this is the trick. So basically what I did is just like this third source, you go in the, the click the gear icon, <coughs> and then I want to, choose the source um, it's OBS is the name of the of the source but then the other thing I did here is the video quality I dumped down to the lowest possible um, and my thought here was that basically it's gonna reduce the any bandwidth um, therefore reducing latency and um, this one I just leave at uh, my 1080 um, and then that way I can get the video from this webcam and the audio from the second webcam and uh, when I do it that way the two stay in sync so um, yeah that's the trick basically if I I don't have to do a virtual camera here um, but basically I just mirror that output source in the OBS or the NDI webcam tools and then take the audio from the low bandwidth source and the video from the, the high bandwidth source so yeah hopefully <coughs> This is helpful. <laughs> it's a weird little thing, but it, without doing it this way, you have to do all kind of the other complicated stuff. And so, yeah, I hope this helps someone.